Hey guys, it's Gaia, what's up and welcome back from another video or if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, start now by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Today, as you've read in the title, this is a moving out video. I'm currently at home now as I'm filming this intro, as you can see from the different blue background which will be my new background for the next few weeks until I move into my third year house in September. I'm really sorry that I didn't post two videos last week. I know it might seem a bit confusing but basically I, if I haven't stated already, I moved out last week but I decided to just have the week off before uploading this video. When I got home last Thursday afternoon I realised that I literally have not had a day off properly since the lockdown kind of started because I literally had 10 weeks of like constant uni assignments and exams and then even after uni ended I was so busy um, because I wanted to start posting twice a week which you wouldn't think it but a lot of times time and effort goes into editing and filming YouTube videos. Like literally most of my weeks are just taken up by just filming a video and then editing that one and then once I've edited the first one I need to film the next one and it's just constant. I've also been so busy with like loads of maintenance issues in the uni house. As you guys will also see in the rest of the video I basically show the empty house. I will show you guys one of the many problems I deal with living in that uni house which was a leaking ceiling and no matter how <laughs> much my student lettings told me that they fixed it it still looked like it was going to collapse and like I bet you 100% that ceiling is going to fall down next year. As you can see my schedule has just been mental and then and there's a lot of confusion up in the air about my part-time job because as you guys are watching this the pubs have just reopened so I wasn't sure like whether to go home or to stay in Nottingham and it just yeah it got really quite confusing. Yeah like I said I'm really sorry that I didn't post I realised once I got home here that, like I said, that I didn't really have the chance to just unwind and just chill in the last, say, 15 or so weeks. And I kind of just wanted to take a week off, see my family, chill, and then just get back to it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's hit the montage. Did you notice I've been lost? Staying up to the break of dawn, hoping that you'll show a little warmth, but you know I feel the coldest when I'm wrapped around your finger. Did you notice that you put me through the wrinkle when you said that you need the solace that I can't offer you? I found the light in all this, something to give been through now every day is a challenge top down blow a smoke out it's not good for my balance Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning. So I started packing yesterday with Dan because yes, I guess I'm finally moving out of my second year house. So far the plans are a bit in the air at the moment, but I think my mom is picking me up possibly Thursday morning. I'm not really sure. Basically like it's not her fault or anything, but I'm basically like a sitting duck until I basically don't really know what's happening until she knows. She basically kind of needs to find a few hours in the day where she's not busy with like work or something. And she's told me she won't really know until like the last minute so I've got to have everything packed just in case. There might be a chance I might move out later but I'm not really sure. So this is probably the last time you guys are going to see this background like probably ever. Well I mean I'll probably have a few of these things behind me in the next house but I guess it depends on the layout of the new room. I'm thinking fairy lights is my new backdrop but what do you guys think? Is that too basic of me? Am I becoming a bit of a basic YouTuber? The plan is that I'm going to completely clear out the rest of my room. As you guys saw in the previous clips I have cleared out most of my wardrobe, my shoes and a few like bits and bobs. Like literally I've cleared out the shelves above this shelf which had like my printer box on it and just like fancy dress stuff and just random stuff I kind of just literally stuffed up there but yeah I don't really know how I feel at the moment about moving out it just feels so sad in a way because I don't feel like I got enough of this house like because of COVID-19 half of my second year kind of got wiped out and because of the fact that I finished second year at home it doesn't really feel like I had like a full second year it's been quite weird I'm gonna pack up the rest clean tonight because there is a big chance that I'm probably moving out tomorrow morning and I want to be ready when my mom comes and gets me so yeah apart from that let's get to it so another reason why I've not really been sure when I'd move out is because of these damn boxes they took forever to arrive 
five and now that they have before I start moving things out of my room I've got to open these and set them up um, it's gonna be quite funny because I'm pretty sure they're like the size of me so it'll be interesting carrying this upstairs but yeah it's been such like, quite a disorganized move because I've been waiting on several people and then I haven't really known when to even schedule my leaving date but yeah I guess let's start this she's a Mona Lisa She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be there. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life. What's on the show? What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso. She brushing against my hands. Seeing you from around the way. You didn't give me the time of day. You be making moves that like, yeah, who really care what Simon say? All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back. You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that. Louis V scar for I'm chilling with a dad. Whoa. Slow it down like that. Just hold me down like that. Hey guys, I guess it's finally time to say I am finally leaving the house. Everything's packed up, so so I guess that means only one thing. Empty house room tour! So I realised guys that I didn't actually do like a full house tour of this second year house. So I thought why not, might as well do one as I'm leaving. So follow me, I'm not going to show you obviously all the rooms. But if we first come into the kitchen, um, there's a few things up here. But this is the seating area, we have a TV, you have a little seat area again, like a dining table. Um, weird ass picture that doesn't really go with the colour scheme, but we love it. Um, next into the kitchen, um, if the light will turn off, um, we have the kitchen, I <laughs> guess. Um, do love a good leaking ceiling. Um, Extra bonus when you're living in a student house. Never really gets fixed, no matter how much you report it. Um, so yeah, right behind here is the um, basement. BPS basement, or sex dungeon, whatever you want to call it, I guess. Um, I'm joking. Um, and then if we go upstairs, um, this door first, if you come out onto here, this door is my flatmate's room, but obviously we're not going to go in there. I'm out of respect for my flatmates. And then when you come up the stairs, it's all vacuumed and nice since we're leaving. First, I'm going to show you the bathroom. Um, just your kind of average standard bathroom, really. Got a bath. We're lucky because some houses don't have baths. <laughs> Shower, sink, I guess, you know, the kind of typical stuff you get in a bathroom. Luckily, we have a mirror too, but it's a bit awkward because you can't have to lean over. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to show you, um, this is my room, these are my other flatmates rooms, um, some are vacated, 
and again, I'm going to show you them. Um, and then this is where the magic happens. This is my room. Um, well, this is what my room looks like when it's empty. Most of you guys will recognise this area. This is my filming area. Um, or you might recognise the bed because I'm pretty sure I have done a few shots here and I have had a lot of photos up. But yeah, it's all there now. Um, what else? Um, it's quite a ni nice, decent view. Um, let me show you guys. I know it's a bit dark. Ooh, crap. Breaking the house already. Um, yeah, um, not really much to see here apart from other houses. Um, excuse the um, mess on my window. That was from my flatmates making my window. Um, four minutes later, I still have no idea what compelled them to egg my window. And what's more interesting than leave it there and then attempt to clean it. But uh, you do you. Personally, if I'd egg a window, I'd use a tomato, but everyone has their own favourite item of, I don't know, food. Yeah, this is another thing you guys might have to deal with living in a house, um, even with people that you thought you could be civil with. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much I can say about that. I just think it's a lovely bonus to my room, really. I mean, not only do I have a picturesque um, view, but I have this beauty to look at every day no matter what season you know and weather i think the main thing out of this room i'm probably going to miss is the egg the window again um it's a great token of my flatmates love really um you guys might not be so lucky when you guys move into your houses and your flatmates might not egg your window for no reason apart from that though i guess i've shown you my room um behind over there, you've got my TV um, and my chest of drawers, and yeah, and as you can see, looking out, there's the out of it. <laughs> but yeah, apart from that, I should probably close my blinds for the last time. If I can do that successfully, I'm not very good at functioning. Um, but yeah, this is definitely going to be the last time you see me in front of these shelves. Um, it's really quite strange because. This room is where the magic started. This room is where my YouTube started, my channel, and it's quite emotional actually thinking that like I won't have this anymore. But we love change. In early October, you guys will see me move into my new house. Um, I will hopefully be doing a room tour then and an unpacking. So um, stay tuned. Um, that's gonna be really exciting. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do an outro. Um, after this, but if not, um, thank you guys for watching my packing video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this journey with me. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I think we packed up now. I think we can go on and we're going to start the hour long journey home. And then I guess I have to unpack all of this stuff again and somehow find space in my house. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for coming on this journey. It's really emotional. Like I said, with the shelves, I'm going to miss the shelves the most, missing this backdrop. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!